Hello everybody, this is Shinxie, and this is Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we finished the Dusty Dune Galaxy as much as we possibly could, finished the Free Slane Galaxy as much as we possibly could, uh, Gusty Garden was already finished, but um, this episode we are going to do the Honey Climb Galaxy. So, um, yeah, this is probably going to incorporate the bee power up again as it is about honey. So, yeah, scaling the sticky wall. This is more one of those missions which it's nice that they included, but it's not overly special. Because although I do like these single mission galaxies, this one doesn't stand out as much as the others. So, yeah, it, it is still good, don't get me wrong, it's still really good. So, and oh yeah, another thing, it's good that they brought back the bee, gal bee power up. There is another uh, galaxy with the bee power up coming soon. But it's, it's good that they included him in here, still. Um, they don't want to just, like, completely forget about the power-ups. I mean, this this gallop, this dome was all about the fire and ice flowers. All about them. So many of them. Uh, that big coin just creates a load of small coins over here. So not worth it in the slightest. Um, oh, okay, I'm interested. What does this one do? I'm pretty sure it's the same. Oh, is it Starbits? I think this one's Starbits. Yes, it is. But they create a star. So, uh, oh, all our silver as well. I love it when they do that, when they, all of them are made out of one single colour. It just makes it look so epic. And I know I missed some at the top, but never mind. So, let's go to the second. All those star bits. Wow, that gave me a lot. <laughs> um, oh, meteors. Awesome. This is where it starts to get a bit more challenging. I mean, this this game isn't overly challenging. There are certain missions, but as a whole, whoa! Get hit by one of them and it's one hit kill. Wow. Um, this game isn't overly challenging as a whole. There are certain missions, but as a whole, it's all right. It's quite an all right game. Not too di not too easy though. Um, it's still the right difficulty. So these, ah, uh, you have to be very careful. Oh, go. there we go. And do run away from me! One up, I don't practically need it, so I won't bother getting hit. Uh, loads more. Oh, loads more star bits I need to get. Come on, can I get 200? Oh, I was hoping to get 200. Huh. But, um, third planet, and they incorporate these. You can slam down somehow sideways. <laughs> so. Yeah, I normally just end up dodging them though, to be honest. Although, I'm close to 200 star bits, so I... That is space palm worthy. Just saying, I might as well kill them, and then get killed by one of them myself. Hey, honestly, okay. <laughs> so, let's try that again. And kill that one, because that one actually stops right where you are, so it's easy enough. Well, can I... Oh, two off. Okay. And uh, wait. Oh, that one does. Oh, that one stops there. There we go. So I'm one up. Thank you. So I just really wanted that one up. Whenever it comes to star bits, and yet yeah, I will ignore that one up. I don't get it with me sometimes. I will easily go for the star bits one up, but when it comes to just a one up in just maybe slightly out of place, I just don't get it. Maybe because, um,. Star bits are actually useful for something else other than just the one up. Like, uh, you need them for the um, Hungry Lunas. Maybe that's why I ended up finishing a profile with over 6,000 star bits spare. And seriously, I'm not joking, I finished one with over 6,000 star bits spare. It's, it was amazing. I don't know how I managed it, to be honest. Who knows, I might manage it in this game. I have no idea. But, um, 61 stars, galaxy is complete, as it was only a mini, um, galaxy. I uh, won't bother saving. And, as we have now finished, Gusty Garden Galaxy, Three Slane Galaxy, Dusty Dune Galaxy, Honey Climb Galaxy, now for the Boss Galaxy. So, Bowser's Dark Matter Plant. So, let's just get straight on with it. This is a good level, as with almost every galaxy, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I say, it's really only the dusty, 
Dusky? Darkness on the horizon. Is only with the uh, Dusk. Is it Dusky? Dusky Dunes Ga Galaxy? I don't know. It's only with the desert level, but I absolutely hate. That's the only one I really do not like of this entire game. At least to my memory. I don't particularly remember some of the later galaxies, but I'm sure I will when I get there. Oh, if you go in there, it's one hit kill, just like the sand. Although it's not as annoying as the sand, because the sand, it, I don't know, I think just the yellowness of it all will just annoys me. I don't know. Certain colours can just irritate you, because, I don't know, they remind you of something. I don't know what yellow reminds me of, if anything at all, but it just annoys me. The colour itself, especially when sand, sandy yellow, just annoys me. But, um, this is quite easy. You've got to make sure you're standing in the right places, though. So, like, if you were stood right where my cursor is now, you'd fall to death. Uh, one up there, nearly, uh, nearly just fell, but never mind. So, um, here gravity is just like normal, if there are no arrows. For some reason, arrows control gravity. So Mario could just get a... Whoa, that's a one-hit kill as well. Ha! <laughs> Mario could just get a massive paintbrush, paint on an arrow facing a certain direction, and instantly be um, warped in that direction because it's an arrow. I mean, I know they're moving arrows, but there are some other arrows which aren't moving, and they still say about uh, which way gravity goes. Whoa, well, no, ah, I do not want to die again. <laughs> you can sort of see where they are, like there's one there, there's one there. You can sort of see where they are, but it, it's easy enough to dodge even at last minute's notice. But, uh, come down here for one up, I suppose I can get this one. See, it's really hit and miss for what one ups I get. I have no system for it whatsoever. But there's a massive area of dark matter there, so um, dodge that, oh, whoa. That was close. You can go over them, like I just long jumped over one. Whoa, this one up from running. <laughs> Guess it doesn't want to be eaten by Mario. Don't blame it either. <laughs> so, ooh, sideways. I, as, as I've said many times in this LP, I love it when they use gravity. Because it's like areas like that. It warps the controls and makes you use the controls in an entirely different way. Obviously, it's a sensible way. It's not like over the top way. And um, things like this, with these arrows, um, the arrow change, you've got to work out where to stand. Yes, it's pretty obvious, but if you're really young, it isn't. And remember, this is still, um, whoa, whoa, ah, what was I just saying about that? Ah, how did I survive that? <laughs> what was I just saying about paying attention to arrows? Um, if you are young, though, as this game is marketed for a young audience, it is reasonably quite difficult to pay attention to the arrows all the time and work out which direction to go. I mean, um, <laughs> me just a minute ago got confused with the arrows, but that was more just me not paying attention, really. But still, this checkered floor shows that, um, it's up the stairs, use the stairs here, shows that it's the boss, and, um, yeah, you've got three the loomers just to get up. Don't ask why, but some of the loomers create stars. I mean, the stairs, not the stars. Thanks a lot. Well, actually, technically, they do create the stars, don't they? They're loomers. Ha! What? It's you! That's it, Mario. I'm going to stomp you into space bits. You said that last time. Being a bit repetitive of yourself there. I'm talking of repetitive. It's the same boss as last time, just a bit harder. To be honest though, I feel as if this is a boss you could use many times. But like, look, it's a new attack. It isn't as if it's complete. It isn't as if it's completely the same. Well, if you get hit by that spin attack, he will not jump and do that. Uh, you've got to make. Wow, I didn't even hit his tail. I just hit his stomach. <laughs> you've got to make sure you dodge the um, spinning attack to manage to hit him. Well, for him to jump, I should say. And then he has this attack of the fireballs. For some reason, the fireballs do not destroy the crystal. So technically, I suppose you could just hide behind the crystal. So, whoa, the fireballs return. <laughs> whoa, this is kind of dangerous. See what I mean by this is just a boss you can reuse because the sort of boss it is. There's so many different things you can do with it, and they have done. Whoa, nearly missed them. <laughs> so, uh, second hit done. Third hits the charm as normal with a Mario game. Well, with any Nintendo game, to be honest. Well, actually more Mario than any other Nintendo game, but still, 
many Nintendo games. Also, if you want to be lazy, just stand on here. Whoa! Dodge fireballs, though. I forgot about them. But Bowser can go over them, so do be careful. Whoa! Ah! How did he still hit that? <laughs> uh, okay. So, one, two, three. There we go. <laughs> he bowled me over. <laughs> yeah, so you do need to have some accurate timing when he is going really fast there. <laughs> you just lost. Why are you laughing? Not bad. I guess I chose the right guy to be my arch enemy. At least you always put up a fight. But it's too bad for you, because my master plan is almost complete. Tough luck, Mario. What, are you aiming to bring back all the Time Lords or something? Eh. <laughs> Write in the comments if you get that reference, because that, that is a sort of obscure reference. Not too obscure, but it is still slightly obscure. Anyway, um, so... That is another Grand Star. We're getting close to the end here with the amount of Grand Stars we've got. But at the same time, we've only just got in the 50s. Have we? Or is it 60s now? I don't know. But there's 120 stars in total. So we are only just over halfway there, I think. I think we're in the 60s. Can't remember. So? The star, which powers the observatory, now turns blue. That is a nice blue. I've said that about almost every colour so far. <laughs> but that reminds me of, like, fresh water in, like, the Beach Ball Galaxy. Because the Beach Ball Galaxy is beautiful. Oh, wow, only one more Grand Star left. Awesome. But, what I was saying in the previous episode about the Link's Up, that has now been created, and a new d uh, dome has opened. 62. So we have two stars over halfway through the game. Actually... Technically, there's 121 stars in the game, but that's for a different day. So, you've discovered a new galaxy. All five of them, and... Oh, what's that? We have ascertained the location of your special one. Please take a look at the circle by your feet. One star remaining! That number represents the power stars you need to reach the centre of the universe. That number will decrease with each power star you receive. And when it reaches zero, the Comet Observatory will regain full power and fly as a starship again. And then we will be able to reach the centre of the universe. So yeah, I'll save my game. And, just because this game likes to be annoying, watch this. The Comet Observatory says full power, now I can fly through the cosmos again. Just as it's just turned on, it goes down to zero. It's time. Do you want to go to the location of your special one at the centre of the universe? Uh, no. Please speak to me again when you are ready. Yes, now you can technically finish the game. It is possible to finish the game now. However, I'm not going to do that just yet. Now we need to do this, which is in the uh, Honey Hive... Yeah, it's the Honey Hive Galaxy, isn't it? I believe... Is that one in there? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's the Good Egg Galaxy and the Honey Hive Galaxy in here. So, I'm just going to have a quick look. Is it? Yes, Honey Hive Galaxy. The special star appears when Luigi's trapped in the galaxy. So, now we need to go rescue him. About 14 minutes into the video, not bad. So, um, yeah, we've got a lot of time for this. The Mario takes flight. It's in the very first level of it. Long time since we've been here. So, um... I know exactly where Luigi is. Um, it's it's one of those missions which, when I was younger, I could never figure out where Luigi was. Because, does it actually show the photo? It is a bit obscure. It really is because of the angle the photo's been taken at. But, what you want to do is... Is it this one? Oh no, where is it? Oh, of course, it's up here, isn't it? I think. <laughs> Um, I'm wanting to get to the other side, but I cannot remember how to right now, actually. Uh, B Mario, I didn't think you could get to the other side like that, though. Oh, actually, no, I remember now. I remember now. I know where Luigi is, I just couldn't remember how to get to him. <laughs> but I say, it is a bit troublesome if you don't look at around the galaxy enough. You've got to really explore to find Luigi right, um, in this galaxy. So, uh, let's just go over here. 
dodge the water. I'm not sure whether this is actually uh, the w My feet touch the water. Very... What? <laughs> I missed that the first time through. Awesome. Um, actually, now I think about it, I never showed off this area back here. But, is it something to do with being up here? Uh, come on. I know there's all this, but... Um... Okay, is it in here? Which, oh yeah, there's loads of secret areas. Oh no, no, this just gives uh, um, a load of star bits. There's an invincibility star at the bottom where you kill all the uh, creatures. Boulders, sorry. But over there, loads of different secret areas. Most of which I honestly have no idea how to get to. I just genuinely have never had an idea. Okay, I did not really need to know that, but okay. <laughs> good to, well, <laughs> not really good to know anyway. But, um, okay, how do you get over there? Is it to do with what I was going to do? Uh, go up that massive slope? Now, I know the time is really tight, but I believe you can do this. Okay, come on. No, yes, good. I'm not sure whether that's the way you're supposed to do it, but that's the way I always did it. Ah, actually. Now then, you're supposed to be up there. How do you... Actually, is that enough? I'm not certain, but I think that might be enough. Yes, it is. Wow, just enough, though. <laughs> but, there's Luigi. And, if you go close enough to him, he's scared of you. Or, actually no, I don't think he's scared of you exactly. He's scared of that bug. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Oh, hey, bro. No, he's definitely not scared of you. I hid because of that big scary bug. I found the power star, so let's go home. Okay, so, there's the power star. So, just no ordinary power star this time. It'd be cool if there was, I don't know, like five Luigi missions, and each mission he gave you a green star, and that's how you unlock the trial galaxies. I'd find that so awesome, but they didn't do it, unfortunately. But, um, now we have done that. I suppose I'm fitting one more level, so I suppose I'll go and do the, um, uh, Hungry Luma. Oh, and by the way, I must mention, after this video, I shall be doing the final boss. I will be completing the game, um, off screen. Because, after you beat Bowser and save Peach for the first time, I see, I can literally go to the centre of the universe now. If I do that, I unlock a hell of a lot of stars. I unlock that final comet. And, well, the final special comet that you can, um, uh, find. And that gives so many stars. Have you noticed we have not yet finished, uh, completely finished, an, um, a galaxy, a main galaxy with, like, five stars in it or something? That is because of them comets that we have not unlocked yet. Soon as you beat Bowser, you unlock all of them. So, I think it'd be best to do it that way, because then I can show the, the, uh, that comet at the same time as doing some new uh, galaxies, where I don't need to just get purple coins. So, Big Mouth Galaxy. Oh yeah, there's one up over there, but we can't get it just yet. Haha. <laughs> they haven't even been up there just yet. Big Mouth to go bait. So yeah, I just really wanted to, I just wanted to quickly cover that uh, topic. I shall be, I shall still be showing the uh, final boss at the very end, though, when I've got all 100 and, I think you get 120, and then it's like a bonus thing afterwards where you get the 121st. But I know there is 121 stars. But, golden treasure chests. This is my hideaway. It's the perfect spot for fishing, and being left alone. So I'm probably not helping you much there. Loads of star bits here though, so, uh, yeah, very useful. Especially considering you used 800 to get near. But, the golden chest, as you can see, does not get opened by a normal shell. There's a blue turtle, I mean, crap, sorry, why did I say turtle? I was thinking of shells then. <laughs> but, um, they do not get opened by normal, wait, no, there's a blue, that's an uh, old thing. There's, um... A blue crab there, which you can kill to get a 1-up. There's a 1-up down there as well. Um, so they give you two 1-ups right from the back here. And yet it's not that difficult of a mission. 
So let's just go over here, and as you can see, there's a star chip. So you need to get five star chips. They are all under here, and I just love going down to this level. So you can't really see much, and it's more of a maze. I just love doing it for some reason. Uh, you really cannot see anything though. Is there any other... Ah, actually, now I just saw two. I just passed one. Did I? I could have sworn I did. Right, I, I do sort of want to hurry it up though, because I'm past 20 minutes. Ah, there's where I saw it. Okay, so it's number three. Number four's right here. And number five... Uh, can I... Oh, there. Yes, I did just see it. I only I only just saw it though. Right at the well, only a tiny bit was revealed. There is a way you can completely skip that, I believe, but it, it requires some fancy jumping. Because as you see, you're out of that water and right into there. Actually I'm not sure, am I thinking of a different galaxy? I might be thinking of a different galaxy now I think about it though. But there's the golden shell. So we can go down here, back down here again. And where's the entrance that we came through? Ah, here. It'd probably help if you destroyed more blocks, but it's still easy enough just to uh, go through the hole you made originally. I believe just you can just run into them though, uh, the blocks and get them destroyed without destroying the shell. But just shine the light on the booze to, to kill the booze, if you so need to. Make sure the Cooper and the Crab is not in the way of the shell. We did all this just to save you. You. Man, that was close. Oh, Mario, I almost forgot to tell you something. I was trying to get a star, but I fell into this treasure chest. Let me tell you, it's even smaller than it looks. Anyway, here's the power star I found in there. No, really, it's yours. Of course it's mine. I'm the only person actually collecting them in this game. Everybody else is just exploring the place, trying to have a look. Like you brave toad brigade. Well, yeah, like you brave toad brigade. No, and I do not want to do that. I was trying to do a triple, well, a back jump, but never mind. So, star. Uh, that'll be it for this episode then. Um, I will be doing, uh, as I say, I will be doing the boss off screen now. Um, actually, should I devote the entirety of next episode to doing the trial galaxies and then do the um, final boss after that episode? Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. Next episode I'll do the Trial Galaxies, and then after that, in between episodes, I shall do the final boss. So I bid you all farewell. Bye.